Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with The Room Where It Happens by Aaron Burr, the next puzzle in the Hamilton Sudoku series. Um, deliberately chose this puzzle for this day because this will be probably the final time I see Hamilton in Australia. Um, as this puzzle goes live, the lights will have just come up um, because I know the timing of the show um, on me seeing Hamilton for the fourth time and um, in Brisbane, and I'm pretty certain I will not be going back. Um, that's a financial thing. Um, but um, being in Brisbane, I've decided to see the show three times. For this one, I deliberately decided to purchase a ticket way up high at the back because um, I wanted to get that experience. I've seen it from the front, right in the stalls right at the front. Um, I've got a ticket for um, the fairly close to the front um, in the mid circle or the dress circle and this time I've gone grain circle and I bought one fairly far back because they are different experiences and I like getting different experiences of the show. Um, so that's what I've done for this one. So yeah, the room where it happens is kind of disappearing for me. I am going to go new to New Zealand to see it um, and uh, then it will be pretty much gone and that my it's going to be weird for me but um what a weekend this is going to be um when you're seeing these videos i'm recording these 10 days in advance so uh yeah now one warning i do need to give about this puzzle the hamilton sudoku series has normally been designed to be puzzles that are more approachable i have been told this one is not one of those you're in the spotlight for this one you're dancing on the table there's a chance that you're going to fall off this one's going to take a little bit longer this one's the big show number um this is the one where everything changes so um very, very thematic for the piece that this one is the harder puzzle, possibly from what I've told so far, the hardest puzzle in the series and may challenge quite a few people, including me, apparently. So uh, I've been told to leave some extra time for this one. Um, the duration of the video should give you a hint on that one. Um, let's have a look at the puzzle, shall we? Um, so normal Sudoku rules apply in every box, in every row, and in every column. The digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Digits placed on arrows um, must sum to the digit placed in the arrow circle. So whatever these two digits are, the sum of them will go into that circle. The same is true of all of the arrows. Digits placed on the purple Renban lines will form a set of consecutive non-repeating digits in any order. Um, Interesting stuff there. So what that means is um, if you were to get all of the digits that end up on this line, take them off and sort them, they will be a run of digits. Um, and cells separated by a black dot um, are in a one to two ratio or one is double the other. Uh, not all dots are necessarily given. So I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. One thing I am going to say is I'm doing this on the beta version of Sudoku Pad, which you can access through the hamburger menu in the top left, um, so that I've got access to the simplified conflict checker because I have been told that I should use the conflict checker for this, the pencil mark checker, um, and that it would help me. Um, okay, but I wanted to use the simplified version. So it's only going to give me row, column, and box pencil marks. It's not going to give me everything. Uh, but the setters did tell me that I should use the pencil mark checker for this one. Okay, where do I want to start? Now, the most obvious place for me to start is this is a three cell arrow, and there's a few of those, and a three cell arrow has a minimum of one, two, three. So these are all got to be six or higher. Now, this one's on a black dot, so this can't be a seven or a nine, because if it was a seven, this would have to be a three and a half or a 14, and if it was a nine, this would be a four and a half or an 18, none of which are valid Sudoku digits. So this is a three or a four only. Hmm. Where else am I looking? Well, there's a nine over here, and the reason there's a nine over here is because I can't put nine here because then this would be nine plus one plus two. This would be a 12 arrow. That's not going to work. Can't put nine on, basically, because these are all circle arrows of length greater than one, I can't put nine on any of them. And for the same reason I couldn't put nine here, I can't put nine here. So nine can't go in any of those cells, which puts nine on one of those. So nine can't go in here, and nine can't go in any of those, and nine's not there. 
I get a nine. And that's one of those is a nine. Okay. What else can I find? Can I restrict this at all? So the maximum digit you can put on a three cell arrow is a six. So this can't be an eight is what it's telling me. So this is one, two, three, four, or six. It can't be a five. So that's really helped narrow that one down. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that. I mean, nine can't be in those now, and it can't be in those or that. So nine is in one of those two. Which means nine is in one of those three. So if nine is here, this becomes nine, eight, seven, six, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hmm. Do, do, do. Okay, my ideas are dark as the tomb where it happens. Well, the Brimster legacy is not secure because I'm not seeing what to do. Hang on. If this is nine, this is eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And what's that? Because if that cell sees all of those, it sees all of those in the box and those in the row. So if that's a nine, that has no value because I have to put eight, seven, and six on this line. This is not the nine. This is the nine. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't put six or seven in there either because if I put a six in there, this line has no value. So this has to be an eight or a nine. Is it the same up here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There has to be a nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Three to seven have to exist on these lines. So these circles cannot contain six or seven. So this can't be a six. This is an eight. This is a four. This can't be six or seven. And this can't be six or seven because this line is exactly the same. These are eights and nines. Okay, so what can I do with that? Well, I can't put six on this anymore. So this is only one, two, three, or four. But I can't put eight on this line. So this is one through seven. There's no nine on this line. This is one through seven. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Without there being a seven here, that's not much of a whoop. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sees that cell as well. So that is a nine. That's not a nine. And if I put nine here, I've got to put eight on this line. And that's, that, that's not the nine. That's the nine. So nine is in, that's a nine. And nine is in one of those two. And if that's a nine, there's no nine up here. That's not a nine. And nine is in one of those two because I can't put nine on this line. But I can't put nine on the black dot. This is the nine. So this is not the nine. This is the nine. 
Can't put seven on the arrow. So these are from one, two, three, four, and five. I'm not sure how that's helping me. This pencil mark is ter this pencil marking is terrible, but it did actually help me. I mean, I'm, though I'm down to that six tuple in that box, so. What can that be, I suppose, is the question. Because it's got to be a digit that's not on this line. But this line now is either 8765432, which should make this 1, which is blatantly impossible, or 7654321, which would make this an 8. This has to be a 1 or an 8, and it can't be a 1. That's an 8. Is the same true here? There is a 9 on here. So this is either two through eight or one through seven. And if it's two through eight, that's a one nine pair and I can't put one. This is an eight nine pair. Same is true here. This has to be an eight. Which means this is four, which puts four in one of those. That can't be a four, because if that's a four, that's a four as well. And that's broken. Four there could work. Two, three, f these would have to sum to five. So these would be two, three. <sighs> eight is in one of those now. Well, it's not there and eight is not on its own arrow. So this is an eight. Eight is in one of those. It's not there and it's not on its own arrow. This is an eight. So eight is in one of those, but that's not a nine. So I can't put eight on that arrow. This is an eight, this is a four. So now this has to sum to four, so it's one, three. That digit has to go on this Renban and it's not in its box and it's not in those. So it's in one of those two cells. What about this? This can't be one, eight could be two seven so it's either two seven what, what's going on two seven can't be three six or it's four five they're the only possibilities eight is in one of those two eight is in one of those four well, I can't put it there, so it's in one of those three. Could be on this arrow if it's 8-1. This is a maximum of 7. Mm, confused, confused. This has a maximum of six, and it's not one, three, or four. So it's two, five, or six. So where's one in this box? Well, that's not it. Four. Four is in one of those three. Well, it's not there. So four is in one of those two, which puts four in one of those three. And the reason for that is this four can't repeat in its column and it can't repeat on its Renban. Right, where does four go here now? Now that this is an eight, this is a four. Can't put six on this. Can't put five on this. So this is a two. Four and two is six. So this has to be a three, which takes three out of those. So this is one, five or six only. So how does this eight get made up? One, seven or two, six? Uh, okay. 
three can't be on this ring band. So it's in one of those. And it's in one of those. But it could be off the ring band here, putting it on the ring band here. So the digits that have to go on the ren band are three through seven have to go. Hang on, every ren band is one to seven, isn't it? Yeah, every ren band is one to seven. So what I know, yeah, so what I know is eight is in one of those three. But I still could put 8-1 here, couldn't I? I think. Eight is in one of those two. What is it? What is it? These are one, three, five, and six. So that's going to put a restriction on this, isn't it? Not really. Four, six, seven. There must be a one in here, doesn't there have to be? Because three and five is eight. Yeah, there has to be a one in one of those two. So there's no one in those. This is a five or a six. So this is restricted. This is a maximum of four. So it's one, two, three and must contain a one. So there's no one there and there is a one here. This is a three, five, six, which means there's no three here. This is one, two. And this one, two goes with either five to make it eight or six to make it nine. That's kind of cool. So what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And there's a 4, 8 there. This is the 7, and I didn't take the 7 out of those. This is a 4, 8. The 7 makes this 5, which makes this 4, which means this is not 4, this is 4. And this can't be 4, 4 to make 8. So this has to be 9, this has to be 5, and this has to be 8. That is bonkers. This becomes 8, this is not 8. This is a pair. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three and eight. And there's an eight here looking down. This is the three. This is the eight. I was told to use the pencil mark checker. So I am. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Okay. That's not a one. I'll take it. So this is either four, six, or seven. Four is in one of those two, and it can't be on an eight arrow. So this is four. So this is three. This is not four. This is not three. So I've got the same issue here, don't I? This is either one, two, or one, three. And it must contain a 1, because this has to sum to 3 or 4. So there's no 1 here. So there is a 1 in one of these three to make this ren band go 1 to 7. If this is 1, 2... Hang on, this sums this sums to eight. So this is the five, this is the six. So this has to sum to three. And this is one, two. There's no six or two here. This is the five. Five comes out of here. These are one, two, six, and seven. The question is where do three and five go in this box? This is weird. That's a one by Sudoku. So this is a seven by Sudoku. This is not seven. This is two or six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a five. So this is a three. Could have got the three from this column. 
This one takes one out of there. So one is in one of those two. There's all sorts of stuff I can do now. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I thought I had all sorts of stuff I could do. I was seeing stuff I could see on Ren bands. Like this is a quad. It's one, two, six, and seven. There's no seven in those. There's no, well, this is the only place the seven can go on the Ren band. This is a quad. One, two, six, and seven. That's seeming a lot less powerful, but there is a seven in here and a one. So there's a one and a seven in there. Okay. Have I got all the eights now? I do. Sevens, I've got four of them. So that's actually... Well, seven is in one of those three. No, seven is right there. Because seven can't seven is in one of those, but I can't repeat it on the rem band. So that's a seven, that's a six, that's a seven. So now I've got six on this rem band. So six has to go down here somewhere. But that's not as restrictive as I might want. It's definitely something to do with the way these Ren bands are placed. So I've got, so what isn't placed on Ren bands? Like I haven't put a five on this Ren band yet. So one, right, I haven't put a five on this Ren band yet. So one, two, three, four, I need to put a five somewhere. It can't go there. Can't go in any of those because of that one and that one. This is a five, which puts a five down here in one of those. But five has to go on the Ren band in this box because I can't put it there. So that's the five. So now five is in one of those two. And that five is eliminating that one. This is the five. So what else needs to go on this? This is now one, two, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, these are one, two, six, and seven. So this is one, two, six, giving me a one, two, six triple, but the one has to be over here. So what is these two? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are three and five, and there's a, something looking at this with a three. Ah, oh, there's something looking at this with a five, that five. That's the three, that's the five. That's pretty cool. Now I need to put six in this column and it has to go in one of those two because I can't put it down here because of this. This triple maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's not that useful. So what's missing from this Ren band? One, two, three, four, six. So this has to be the four. So this is, which means that's a four. And this is one, two, three, or six. So six is in one of those two. So what's over here? The seven has to go on one of those two now. Yeah, seven is in one of those two. It's not cutting the mustard. I've never understood that. 
I mean, what mustard needs cutting? Normally mustard needs spreading. I'm assuming it's a war thing when mustard was given in blocks or something. Three is in one of those two. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So two, three, six. So three is up here somewhere. So three and three are lining up. I can't put three here. I can't put three here. So three has to go in one of those two, but three has to go in one of those two. That's the three. This is not the three. Three now, where does three go in this ram band? The only place for it is there. This is three. This is one that takes one out of there. This becomes the one. This is not the three. This is the three. This is a two, six pair. The two, six pair looks down making this the one, this the two, this the one. This is now a pair. One, two, and six. While I'm speaking about British idioms. So these are one, two, three, and seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. And that three is looking down, making that seven and that three. The only thing missing from this ren band now is a one. The seven looks up, making this six and this seven. The pencil marks now are feeling a bit redundant because the only place I can put seven in this box is here. The only place I can put one is here. This also becomes two and six. And the six looks up making that two, that six, which looks across making that two, that six, which looks across making that two and that six. The six also looks down making that two, which makes that six, which looks down making that two and that six. Uh, the one looks down making that two and that one. And these have to be two, three, four, five, and six. And that, is the room where it happens. I kind of lucked into that one. I was told that was much harder. I mean, at 23 minutes, it's harder than I've taken on most of them. Maybe it's because I've seen the show so much and I know how it goes. You kind of... I don't know. Perhaps. Maybe it's because I've done, I think, nine of these in a row. I'm not mad. I'm just drawn that way. Um... That was really cool. That's a really nice play with the arrows and the red bands. That is really, really pretty. Very cool puzzle. Love that one. Hey, look, Grandpa's in the paper. Um, yeah, really, really cool stuff. Thank you, everyone who was involved in setting these. I'm really not sure who it is. Um, I mean, I've got an idea, but I've not been given specific setters, and apparently new people are coming in, and it just blows my mind. So um, I know that I've done a lot of these in a row, um, and as I said, that's because I'm. there's going to be a few more coming, um, and that's because I'm going to be unable to record for a while, and this is just a bunch of puzzles that I can record with no stress, and they won't take that long to process. So, um, yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the puzzles. And as always, even if you're not a fan of musicals or this musical in particular, just enjoy the puzzles. The puzzles are good. Um, ignore the theme. That is very, very doable. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.